Two damn phones, Babylon can't crack the coat. Used to sit out, stop. Yo, what's going on guys, Dr. Little back here, and today, you guys might be familiar with this game, probably not, but we're actually playing some Clash Royale today, it is a phone game, and I have not played this, uh, I haven't recorded this game in a while, uh, I've been playing this game for the past couple days now, and obviously it is very fun, now the only reason why I've been playing this was because I actually got a really good card in one of these free chests, now it was actually really insane because I just woke up, normally, for the past, uh, I would say two weeks now. Two weeks ago, I was not playing this game. Oh, I pretty much only started five days ago, technically. So, since, like, two weeks ago, I just always log on to collect the free chest that I get every four hours. And then I just grab it, see if I get anything good. And I, I actually woke up, just grabbed the chest, and then I saw I got a legendary, and it was really hype. I actually got this, uh, this log right here, which was really insane, honestly. But uh, today, we're actually going to be doing two things. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to actually uh, level up everything in my deck, because I was actually waiting to make a video on it. Because right now, pretty much most of my stuff, I can level up. And this deck is really good, honestly, and I only have $8,000, so what I'm going to be doing is probably upgrade this, upgrade this, uh, okay, four, five, six, uh, that, that, that itself is $8,000, but that's not really worth upgrading right now. So, four, five, six, uh, that, that's, that, oh, oh, we can upgrade the rocket as well, so we're gonna do, uh, four, four plus four, that's eight, we'll have $300 left over, and we can spend it on, uh, whatever, what's over here, nothing good, oh, what's that offer, that, that offer is trash. So right now, you see I'm actually in Arena 8, although I do not have the sufficient amount of trophies, it's 2,300 trophies, I dropped, the reason why my chest slots are open is because as soon as I saw that I dropped down to about to leave Arena 8, I quickly stopped playing, because if I, like, lose, I won't get any of the cards from Arena 8 that I kind of want to try to get. For example, the Ice Spirit, I actually just got him. I got the Ice Golem out of one, but th that was the only time I got it, and it's only level 1. It's trash. But as long as I have the card, I'm good. Uh, all I need is actually the, uh, obviously the Lumberjack, I'm sure I'm never going to get. Maybe, maybe in, like, a while. Ice Spirits, it's the, it's the common card. I, I'm really, it, it's weird that I didn't get it yet. We got that. We already got that. The Boiler, I'm not really expecting to get him, so... Today, um, I'm going to show you an attack that I did. Uh, I'm going to show you an attack that I got GG'd in. And then I'm also going to upgrade my deck. So right now, let's upgrade these Musketeers. Plus 54 hit points. So he's going to have a 600 hit point, which is really dope. 3, 2, 1. I've straight up been waiting so long for this. You do not understand. There we go. Do we even get... Oh, we, we do get uh, stuff for that. All right, there we go. We got a level 7 Musketeer. Let's freaking go. Next, this Skeleton Army has been revamped from uh, a couple of days ago. A new update came out and made it very, very strong. Bang, bang. No, oh, no, we need the fire spirits. And then finally, the rocket to make it have an extra amount of damage. Bang, bang. 100. Let's freaking go. Uh, now, now it's looking a little bit better. 200 musketeers? Jesus Christ. So, right now, I'm going to show you an attack that uh, someone did on me, which is very bad. Watch this. This attack is called the Three Dragon Push. Now, apparently, my friend actually told me that this is the deck that everyone's going to be rolling with in the couple days. So, I'm actually very scared for that because the, the card that he's about to place down, maybe the Lava Hound, I think, if he, if he plays that. I, I did this this morning. So, alright. He plays the Lava Hound. Now, the thing is with the Lava Hound against my deck, my deck is pretty much based around um, straight up damage. Uh, it can pretty much counter anything, but the only thing it straight up cannot, can never counter is the Lava Hound. Or any type of splash unit. So if you look in the core, if you can see in the top, right now he has he has the dragon and the lava hound coming my way. Both of those guys. No, uh, first of all, sorry. The lava hound is is not splash damage, but look when the, when the lava hound dies, that's what he does. Look how much damage he's doing to the tower. It's insane. Look at this. J that's just off of one lava hound, and then also look if you look at the top, he has the freaking I, I don't know what his name is, the inferno dragon I think or something like that. And then uh, every time someone has a splash deck or zap. Or uh, anything minion horde, my, my deck's gone. Because what my deck is pretty much based on is using the hog to go take out the tower. And behind the hog, I have a musketeer doing some extra damage on the side. And then that's pretty much how I'll win my game. Or my rocket to just take it out. And then if something else is coming on my way, I would take the uh, the log right now. That was a bad waste of a log. I thought he was going to put skeleton army down, but he actually didn't. So that was bad on my part. But like you see right here, the minion horde... It, it, my, my deck is is pretty trash at it unless if I have the uh, I should put the fire spirits down there The fire spirits take it up pretty good Then I notice my only musketeer right now is running the other lane So I'm like, you know, maybe I can stick on maybe I'll try to go grab the uh, musketeer again And then notice he has both of them in the sky Th I, And then I flash him. Wow, what is this? So but 
and three triple dragons. This straight up GG's. Then I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know why. Actually, yeah, I, I, I thought at this point, I'm like, you know, there's no point. I lost anyways. And then he has the audacity to put the barbarians down as well. And then look at this. Three dragon push. This is insane. And then he has the minion horde on top of it on the other side. The minion horde with the, all the four barbs. At this time, I'm like, there's no point. No, I lost. Not, not even a chance. Just have my musketeer on the side doing trash damage. Then he has four. He had four lava hounds at once. No, not, not four lava hounds. He had four dragons in the air at once. That was completely insane. I've never seen something like that in my life. I swear. So it was pretty bad. Anyways, guys, if you did your video and you want to see more, please smash the like button on the show to get five likes into this episode. And as always, Thanks for watching. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake. Cause I don't fucking care.